So the third step for establishing a successful business is to build your audience slash relatability. A lot of people try to start a business and they don't understand why it's not taking off, but it's mainly because they don't have an audience base. Yeah. Sugar baby, sugar baby, nice whip, nice crib, nice crib. I want this, I want I that, want he that. give it to me. Hey honeys, what's pop like and dropping? It's your girl Malaya Tore, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because honey, you want to be a part of my baddie roster. I know that's right. Okay, so today I want to give a special shout out to TTDI. I absolutely love their packaging. It is so cute, girl. Now, as you can see from the title, I'm not just gonna be trying on contacts. They have given me, I believe it's six pair of contacts for each one. Oh, girl. I'm wrong. Yikes. Look at this. Girl, I think they gave me 12 pairs of contacts. Oh, no, no, no. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So y'all are gonna get more game because I thought it was six they sent me, but TTI, TTDI was feeling very generous, okay, this time around. So instead of six steps to starting a successful business, we're gonna be doing eight steps to establishing a successful business. As a lot of you know, I have a few businesses under my belt that are very successful, and I wanna give y'all some game while I try on these contacts. So the first pair of contacts that they sent me is called Polar Light Gray. Looks like it is super cute, and this one is Polar Lights Gray. Let's see what these babies look like. One thing I love about their packaging is all of them come in a separate case, and then they also all come with cases for the contacts as well as clamps to take the contacts out of the case. And they also have like little plungers, <laughs> I call them, so you can put the contact into your eye. Of course, they all come like this, and you just have to peel it back. It's not too difficult. So along with this pair of contacts, the first step to establishing a successful business is to innovate a high in demand idea. Okay, honey, you have to think of something that a lot of people aren't doing or a lot of people are doing it. You have to think of what's going to make you stand out and make your business stand out. And honey. There goes that one. I didn't put on too much makeup, so my makeup won't mess up too bad when I put these contacts in. But before you make use your finger, make sure your hands are clean. I did wash my hands before this. I like these, these are cute. And they stand out. Hey, honey. <laughs> Let's get a close up. This is what Polar Lights Gray looks like up close. I love these. What you can do is they have solution in their little caps. Just pour it into the case, just like that. Then when you take your contacts out, you literally just take them out. Just in case you don't have solution. And put those bad boys right in there. So the next one that they sent me is called, this one is Himalaya Brown. It looks like it's gonna be really cute. I might really like these. I love me some brown contacts. So my second step to establishing a successful business is you got to do your research, girl. Duh. Once you discover, once you find out what you what once you find out what kind of business you're going to be starting, you need to research. 
You need to figure it all out, girl. Watch YouTube videos. YouTube is very, very good for getting all the information you need. And then you execute your business. So let me go ahead and pop these bad boys in, girl. Bye. This is Himalaya Brown. Check it out, baby. So the next ones that they sent me are called Polar Lights Yellow Green. These are Polar Lights Yellow Green. Really cute, I love them. So the third step for establishing a successful business is to build your audience slash relatability. A lot of people try to start a business and they don't understand why it's not taking off, but it's mainly because they don't have an audience base. You can't just come up with something and sell it to people, you know? People have to know who you are, relate with you, and look up to you and have a infatuation. They don't even have to be infatuated with you, but people have to know who you are and be able to feel like they are your friend or like feel like they know you in some type of a way. And then they'll be like, oh, if they like you, they will like what you have to sell. If they love you, they'll love what you have to sell. So build your audience and then start your business. The next ones they send me are called Super Natural Blue. Girl, I'm excited about these because I love me some blue contacts. These are the Supernatural Blue. They call them Supernatural because they are super natural. Like, they're not really, they're not too bright blue. The fourth step is to design a logo slash brand yourself. Of course, in order to promote your business, you should definitely have a logo that represents who you are and then you need to brand yourself. Like me, I have a, I'm known for being a sugar baby. So I started Sugar Baby Kisses, Sugar Baby Hair, and Punani Box. So start a business that speaks for you. All right, honey, so as you can see, I had to take my eyelashes off because the contacts and the solution and my eyes getting red and it started getting watery and the lashes just, girl, they came off. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the fifth pair of contacts that TTDI sent me. And then as I'm pulling them back, we're gonna go ahead and get into the fifth step to establishing your successful business, honey. So my fifth step to establishing a successful business is to form a budget. Of course, while you're doing all this stuff, your logo, your branding, building your audience, you want to be on a budget. You don't want to keep investing, investing, and investing, and you're not getting your money back, and you're not making any profit. So form your budget, stick to your budget, and make sure you get that money back, and make sure you also make you some profit. It's okay if you don't make any profit the first go around. You know, everybody's business doesn't take off overnight. Check these out. They are super cute, super natural. Look at that, baby. And then they just give you a nice pop. I love these. One of my favorites that I've tried on so far. I'll definitely be wearing these in my everyday outfit. Like, my everyday look. That's what I meant, girl. <laughs> I next, TTDI sent me these contacts here. I'm guessing they're blue, I'm not sure. These also didn't come with a name on them, but I will make sure that all of the contacts that I tried on are in the description box. So it'll be very easy for you to figure out, you know, which ones are which. And I really like these, these are green, girl. Super, super green. And while I'm opening them up, we're gonna move on to the sixth step to establishing a successful business. And my sixth step is to invest in your products. So first impression is everything. Your products should immediately captivate, captivate people's attention. Budgeting is different from being cheap. Never be cheap when it comes to your product, but never overspend. There are several sites that are very successful when it comes to assisting businesses on packaging or inventory. My favorite websites are Alibaba and Papermart. Those are the sites I use. In order to find the best vendor for packaging, you need to research and read reviews. Contact at least four different vendors. 
that carry that product you're looking for and compare prices. Never settle for the first answer. You can also negotiate by sending screenshots to the company you really want. So that is my sixth step to establishing a successful business. So if you're just trying to start out and see what contacts look like, put them in, see what colors you're going for. These would be nice to start off with, especially if you're not used to contacts because they're not too, you know, all in your face. But I definitely like these. These are a nice, subtle green. Moving on to the next two. These also don't have labels on them, but that's okay, girl. I will make sure that all of the names for these contacts are in the description box. These are a nice brown color. The seventh step is invest in equipment. Most businesses who have a financial advantage always skyrocket with their business because they have invested in the heavy duty equipment and manpower. You do not have to be rich in order to have fancy equipment, girl. You need to budget and invest. Invest wisely, girl. Think and compare machinery before settling for the first option. Always remember that just because something is more expensive does not mean that it is better, okay, or it's the best one. There's some products that are cheaper than others and they actually work the same if not better. Invest in a shipping label machine. I use my Epson printer and a Rolo label printer. Invest in tape guns, staplers, paper cutters, binding machines, Cricut machines, Cricut heat press machines, and also invest in a high speed computer and a scale to weigh out your items for your store whenever you do get one for shipping purposes. And investing in this equipment also cuts out middlemen. You don't have to pay people to do things for you because you have the equipment to do the things for yourself so in the end you actually save a lot of money and I'm gonna go ahead and try on these beautiful brown contacts that they sent me I think these are gonna be my favorites too yep love them isn't it so how weird how <laughs> girl I have been putting contacts on since I was about 15 years old literally I'm a pro girl putting in contacts. These, I love them. Very cute and subtle. Check that out, baby. Really pretty. They're like a nice brown. Ooh, with a gray to it. Love it. All right, girls. Let's move on to the eighth pair of contacts that they sent me. These don't have a label on them either, but girl, I got you. You already know. And with that being said, we're also going to move on to the eighth step. Okay. Girl, these are icy. That should be the name of these. Icy girl. OMG, they are a beautiful blue. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to put these on. They are so pretty. So trigger happy to put these on. Yes, oh my goodness, these are beautiful blue. So look at these bad boys mm, we're gonna give them the blues and these honey these are gorgeous i love them they're not too blue they're not too like scary looking you know like i look like a ghost they're the perfect blue on my skin i love them look a little far away like this love it baby and now we'll get into the eighth step to establishing a successful business. Okay, honey, don't forget I got 23 steps, but I'm only giving y'all eight, okay, girl? Now the eighth step is to design your labels for your products. When I first started my business, girl, I did not have labels on anything. Labels, for instance, this. You know, labeling, getting your products labeled. No product is complete without labeling. A label is a simple yet sophisticated way of telling your customers what the product is that they are buying. You can make your own labels by using Avery app, and they also have Avery labels on Amazon, which is my favorite, by the way. I love to use Avery. That's pretty much all I use to make my labels. 
You can also design your own labels by using Canva and PixArt apps. Uh, iPhone is very, very powerful. You can do a lot of stuff yourself if you just expand your mind and, you know, just be a little creative girl and just get it done. You can also pay somebody, but me, I like to do everything myself because then my product actually speaks for me. You know, my product says, you know, my product is me. All right, honey, so those are my eight steps to establishing a successful business featuring TTDI. I want to thank them so much for reaching out to me. I absolutely love the contacts and I had a lot of fun trying them on. Don't forget all of the details and discount codes and all the names of the contacts that I tried on will be in the description box. Girl, it's Christmas time. Go over there to TTDI. Go get you some contacts. Change up your look for Christmas. It's a new year, honey. New year, new you. Okay, we're moving different in 2022. Don't forget to let them know that Malaysia sent you. And honey, never forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed. I'll see y'all next time. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.